Hi, good evening Flosstube. Um, it's Nicola in New Zealand. Look, um, I did do an actual June um, a June update. Um, unfortunately my um, my video wouldn't upload. Another reason, goodness knows what. Um, not sure. Ha, huh, never mind. So I thought I would give this another go very quickly. Not as detailed and I have no idea what I've forgotten. But um, I just wanted to show a little bit of the haul that I have. And it's actually not necessarily haul, it's possibly um, also stash because I, I have had a little buy up in the last few months. I haven't really done, um, well, pretty much since I started back at the cross stitching. So, um, or stitching, so yeah. Um, first of all, I wanted to say this is my Frosted Pumpkin um, Storytime Sampler. Um, I think you can see the light. Look, you, you've all seen this um, a few times now with um, different people's videos and things. Um, mine is slightly different, not by choice, um, by mistake. Um, Peter Pan here um, and the Mermaid, they have the wrong shade of green in their, their clothing and their tail. Um, let's just say that Peter Pan has um, his summer kit on and um, the palm tree behind him is going to have a slightly darker shade of leafage and his hat is also going to be a summer hat in the lighter shade of green than he would normally wear purely because I made a boo-boo with the shades um, yeah there's like one digit difference between like a six and a seven or a seven and an eight. Oh, I don't know anyway I've, I haven't quite given up on it but it frustrated me so I've put it aside for now it's not going anywhere it'll get done but I have spent a lot more time on my um, sampler, um, which is in the video that I have done, well not a video, a photo slideshow that I did. Um, I think you can probably see all the really neat little houses. Um, I've made a few alterations here and there, mostly because of colour choices, went a little bit haywire. Um, however, just recently I realised once I had started doing this one here that it actually should have been the one up here. So I've, I've swapped these two over purely because I didn't really want to do any more frogging. Um, so I didn't. <laughs> I just left it how I did it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how this house is going. I started doing a little more stitching last night. Um, Again, the shade of blue that the house is going to be is very similar to the blue shade that's the sky in and around this willow tree. And I just get a little bit off put by them being so similar. And I don't really want to make too much of a mistake. This lighting is terrible. I'm really sorry. Um, the video I did on the weekend was much better. I had natural daylight. It is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry, it's Wednesday the 15th today, and um, I've just gotten home. I just managed, uh, literally came in the door, gave the cat a brush, because it's nice to say hello, and that's how we do that. And then um, she goes for a run around outside, because she's mostly an indoors cat. Um, and then while she does that, I put her fresh food, or her tea down, and then I'm allowed to do as I please. Yay. So tonight, it's start doing a video very quickly. So um, just in case you didn't know which um, sampler that one is, it's the Drawn Threads um, sampler game board. And I think you can actually still get this on 123 Stitch. Not 100% sure. I got it a few years ago. Um, the pattern is really quite easy to read. But when I started doing it, I actually got the pattern blown up to an A3 size sheet of paper, or several sheets, so that um, much easier to see. Um, now if I was going to do it again I would probably scan it into a PDF format and put it on my iPad and do it as a using good reader um, but at the moment it's good old pencil and cross and color as you go which is fine I've got plenty of colored pencils and sharpness um, so I also I'm sorry I'm going quick I want to get this done before I get to the 10 minute mark. I've got some fabrics that I wanted to show you. Um, I have never stitched on um, anything that is opalescent. So I was looking around and um, the first place I actually had heard a few people talking about was that I thought I would try is an Australian company. 
the Colour Cascade fabrics um, in Australia and um, they do send their stuff around the world so I thought okay they can send some to me in New Zealand so I got um, three pieces of fabric from them they're all the si same size which is a 13 by 18 centimeter um, this first one that I've got is um, Silver Springs and it's a 32 count Belfast in um, opalescent and Silver Springs so it's really quite pretty so it's it has got that sparkle to it yay the opals <laughs> I like the sparkles and and it is it's a really nice sort of gray I sort of think probably you could call it almost um, I think a confederate gray uh, is something that I've is a favorite color choice that comes up a couple of times on a few of the different websites confederate gray um, but it this also seems to have sort of like a, a green tinge to it a greeny gray maybe that's the yellow light tonight not 100% sure but yeah it's a 32 count Belfast opal linen um, and then because I fell in love with it and um, I like all things pink again <laughs> never really did grow up I went through a phase where I hated pink as a kid um, which was a shame because I had a really beautiful pink room um, this one here they call this candle bright um, again it's got my opalescence in it it has it's got a little bit of that hand dyed look to it slightly mottled but not overly overly mottled I don't know what I'm going to do on this pink I've got no patterns really that even sing out to it it is 32 count Belfast linen again and then because at that stage I hadn't really tried um, an even weave I got um, a 28 count Lagana in gold digger again with the opalescent I'm not going to fold it all the way out it's the same sort of sizing but it has got this awesome sort of goldish vein through through the different fabrics on so maybe I will fold it out because I remember there's this really awesome piece in there so I can see this being really something special what I don't know but um, yeah I'm quite looking forward to that the service was good it was very quick and they do also do the surging around or um, overlocking around the fabric which is very helpful for me um, I don't have an overlocker or a serger although I have used bias well not bias binding some binding that I had made for a quilt probably a good eight nine ten years ago and I've used that I've just tacked that on around um, um, that's interesting stuck in the bottom there around the back of just in there on the the edge of my fabric for um, my frosted pumpkin stitchery one so that's that's quite handy and um, just got a sore hand from work today um, punching a lot of numbers in on a keyboard I find that I don't bend my wrist properly and it gets sore um, the other one that I have is I got three fabrics from another company uh, this time it was a New Zealand company, so I thought, okay, right, I should try and support New Zealand a little bit and I'll see what um, amazing stuff they have over here um, and available. And so this one is from countrystitch.com, which you can actually see their fabric colours and choices on the viewer um, website when you put the patterns, overlay them over different colours. But anyway, so I thought the first colour I came across and I thought lovely and delicate now you can't really get a great colorway with this one it's I've tried the other day I didn't even in the, the natural light it didn't work so well either it is it's kind of a lightish pink a very light pink cross between a purple it's called wisteria <clears throat> and this is from the Kiwi Sparkles range so it's a Belfast opalescent 32 count this is um, it's a 13.8 inch by 9.8 inch, which is 35 by 25 centimeters, so it's quite small. Um, the next piece I got was um, a piece of Lugana in 28 count, and this one is in Rimu, which is a really awesome brown. It's it's quite a um, sort of a yellowy red sort of tinge brown really quite nice and natural 
and I think if I'd got this in a bigger piece, I would have loved it to do um, my mirrorabilia of the Met on. It would have been such an awesome colour. But I'm I'm thinking, and I've got a few ideas of what I'd like to do on this. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's a reasonable sort of size. So you know, I might get something pretty pretty awesome on that. So you never know. I'm I'm not very good at judging measurements and things like that. So I'll give it a go. It's not a mottled look to it but and it's a very different colour in the linen as opposed to an even weave so then I actually got two pieces of um, fabric <laughs> again of course which they don't actually come with measurement size I've actually forgotten to write them down and I had a look on the invoice the other day and it didn't show them um, it was just a standard measurement on there of ones that they do and it's it's a natural white um, so it's undyed, but it is just an opalescent white, and I think maybe I might be able to sneak one of the um, Nora Corbett fairies on me, one of those flower fairies. So I'm really hoping to give that a go. So those are my um, my little fabric stash haul um, from the past few months that. Um, I can now say I have some fabric stash, <laughs> yay, and some choices to do some patterns on, um, which is good, because I've got a few bits and pieces that I'd like to do. Um, a few bits off Etsy, I got some Satsuma patterns, um, which, I think Satsuma Street, Satsuma, it's an Etsy shop anyway, I'm sure if you put Satsuma in it'll come up, um, you guys may have already heard of it anyway. <laughs> they do some beautiful things. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is thank you, Trisha, the left-handed stitcher. I can now make my own crime guards. Thank you very much. I had plenty of quilting fabric left over from, from, from my quilting. So um, I've got some lovely fabrics that I can use for some really, really cool crime guards. So I'm quite happy with those. So... I will hope to get a more timely video out <laughs> showing my progress on my um, game board sampler somewhere in the first couple of weeks of July um, after the first rush of videos maybe. Who knows? Um, I'm going to try and keep them, you know, not too often but um, just when I feel there's probably an update or there's something worth talking about or showing, um, I may have a new start, you never know. Um, still working on that but I've got some fabric I've got some patterns I've got to make a decision so I'm going to try and upload this tonight so fingers crossed I shall be watching floss tube while it is trying to um, upload off my iPad and um, stitching away listening to you all and um, yeah so I hope you all have a lovely day lovely morning lovely night lovely evening um, but I do hope you get some stitching done and that, um, that you all have a really good month. And until next time, see you later. Bye.